Hello there, I am Giant Crowd with more Pokemon Leaf Green Redo. In the last part, we took on the rest of Victor Road. I told you guys that it turned all my Pokemon to level 60. Well, they are level 60, yeah. So let's go through the um, summaries and whatnot, their final moves. That's, yeah. Okay, so Triple Cuff is level 60 with uh, Shadow Ball, Hyper Beam, Thunderbolt, and Strength. Giant Green is level 60 with the moves F Frenzy Plant, Earthquake, Razor Leaf, and Giga Drain. Firefox is level 60 with the moves Fire, Flamethrower, uh, Overheat, Fire Blast, and Dig. And uh, Starman's level 60 with the moves Water Pulse, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, and Surf. Airbend is level 60 with the moves Wing Attack, Return, Aerial Ace, and Fly. And Mimeon's level 60 with the moves Magic Leaf, Psychic, Shockwave, and Psybeam. And so yeah, there we go. Also, um... Tropicoff is holding the Quick Claw, Giant Green is holding the Miracle Seed, uh, Firefox is holding the Charcoal, Starman is holding the Mystic Water, Airbender is, ho is holding the, is holding the sh Smoke Ball, and then my man's not holding anything. So yeah. Let's go in. Let's talk to this person though. From here on, you'll face the Elite Four one by one. I'm digging my phone out of my pocket right now, so yeah. There we go, okay. Um, yeah, one by one. If, if you win, a door opens to the next trainer. Good luck. Okay. So the first Elite Four member is the Master of War type, Warlai. So I have, um, you know, Tropikov of one because, you know, Tropikov has Thunderbolt, so let's just talk to her. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I am Warlai of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. Ha ha ha, are you ready? I guess I'm ready as I'll ever be. Let's take on Warlai. Um, depending on how your team's set up, um, she could be the hardest of the Elite Four, honestly, even though she's like the first. Like, if you have just, if you don't have like an Outrick type and you just have a Grass type, it, make it could make this fight a, a, hard, a lot easier. But I have two Pokemon that know a good Electric type move, actually a third that knows a decent one, and I also have a Grass type, my Giant Green, my Venusaur. So, I did a practice run of the Elite Four, and I was really happy with the results. I just at level 60 you know it's not that hard but I also just want to make sure I just always like to train for the elite four and be somewhat over leveled but I don't know I'll just I just always like doing that I, don't, I never like to go on in these elite four challenges like under leveled or anything it's just I always like to be you know fairly over leveled and I know it not might it might not be a challenge for me but I still do enjoy the runs of the elite when I go through elite fours this way I don't know. It's just the way I've done it for like, I've been playing Pokemon on my YouTube channel for like set over seven years. Um, and I don't know, it's just the way I like to roll. So let's use the Thunderbolt. It's gonna be a safeguard, so that means it can't get paralyzed <laughs> for five turns. In this case, I can prevent status conditions like paralysis, sleep, burn, uh, poison, stuff like that. So yeah, there's a little bit over half, let's go for another Thunderbolt, and this should knock it out, this Dugon's level 32, female, so, that's cool, I guess, yeah, that's cool, okay, Dugon fainted, okay, cool, um, Elite Four Lies, but just in a Koi, so I'm gonna stay in, I think, I believe, if I remember correctly, that Triple Cuff in my practice run, just one shot of this Koi, so is level 51, it's female, okay, it's gonna use protect though. Okay, it's trying to stall. It's trying to stall, and it will stall. But eventually, you can't use protect. Well, I get, the most I've seen protect being used successfully in a row is three times. Dang it! I'm gonna put my phone on vibrate because I'm getting all these YouTube notifications. Okay, my phone's on vibrate now. It's just that, like I'm recording this at four or three in the afternoon, and you know people schedule their uploads for like I guess four o'clock Central Standard Time. Or, you know, it could be 3 p.m. Eastern Time, or 5 p.m. Mountain Time, or 6 p.m., you know, uh, Pacific Time. <laughs> it just depends on the time zone. But yeah, we took out the Koistas, that's awesome. Okay, so Slowbro is up next. Um, I'll stay in with a uh, Trouble Clef, because I think in my practice run for a Trouble Clef, uh, Trouble Clef was actually able to take this thing out in two Thunderbolts or so. So let's hope we can have the same luck, I guess, because it could be different this time around. Yeah, it does a little bit over half, almost to the reds, actually. It's going to use Amnesia, okay. It's going to raise its special defense, I think. 
So yes, pressure defense sharp arrows. Okay. So now protect is no longer protected by the safeguard. Okay, cool. Let's confirm another thunderbolt. This is, should knock it out. It's level 52 female. It's, it's a female soul girl. Like most of our Pokemon are female, actually, if not all of them, <laughs> which is pretty cool. The only female Pokemon I have is Treble Cliff, and then Starman is a um is a non-gender type Pokemon. So it's not male or female. Okay, Lapras. Okay, for Lapras, I'm gonna go to Giant Green and use Frenzy Point on this thing. If it can hit, it can one-shot this thing. At least, you know, I did a practice run and it did that, so we'll see. This is Lapras is level 54. This thing's hard. It, it knows Ice Beam, so I have to watch out for Ice Beam. But let's hope I can knock it out before it can hit me. And it looks like we are on a good track to do that. Good. Okay, Lapras is level 54. Female, as I said, it goes down. Okay, so I think we'll have to, the only Pokemon left is our Jinx, and it's a Ice Psychic type, so it um is weak to fire actually. So that's good. Let's go to Firefox then. So for fifty-four female. Okay, let's go for the flamethrower attack. Kinda has the same skin tone as a uh, Grimace from like the McDonald's mascot. One of the McDonald's friends, you know, the mascots around a McDonald's, but one of his around a McDonald's friends was Grimace, and that Jinx looked like it had the same exact like purple color on Grimace. Wow. Okay, but it's super effective, so it takes it out nice. And we defeat Elite Four Lullaby. First member of the Elite Four is down and beaten. I guess defeated, I should say. Um, yeah, things shouldn't be this way. Thanks for 54 dollars though. I'm sorry that you had to lose to my awesome team. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, you better you better than that. I thought. Go on ahead. If you've only got a taste of the Pokemon League's power. Okay. So for the next room, you want to get um, you want to have a grass or water type Pokemon up front because Bruno he starts with a uh, Onix, which is four times weak to water grass type moves. So that's pretty cool. I mean, Bruno is gonna be easier than Warai in my opinion. So yeah, so this has been the number of Pokemon Leaf Green. We do like the part. Next part, we'll take on Bruno of the Week 4, the second member of the Week 4. A master of, I guess, ground and fighting type Pokemon, or rock and fight. Well, let's see, he has two Onyxes, a Hitmonchan, a Hitmonlee, and a Machamp. So, he has fighting and rock types, I guess. Rock slash ground types, I don't know. So yeah, so it's, so yeah, this has been Dranko again. I would like to thank you again, again, goodbye. And I'll see you guys next time my Pokemon Leaf Green video, Walk the Guide.